Welcome to the this, vault. It's just, 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 just too quickly. It's too quickly. It's too quickly. You were too taking a breath. I'm fine. Too, too fast paced. I gave it. A, I gave it a breath. You were just fidgeting over here. All right, we're drinking Brooklotti. Yeah. By request. Where's your request? I have had this before, and I didn't know what to make of it for no other reason than this funky color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's new. It didn't always, always used to have this bright blue bottling. Uh, now, this is the classic Lottie. It uh, used to be, I don't I think it still is, uh, 16 years old. It's um, it kind of their standard Brooklotti expression. And we're doing this because someone asked, have you ever tried any of the Brooklotti whiskeys? Right. And uh, and I replied and said, hell yes, it's one of my favorite distilleries. Right. I own everything I could get of their stateside. So I'm saying this knowing full well this is the wrong audience. And people love the whiskeys and they're into the whiskeys and they read about the whiskeys and right. they're obsessed over the whiskeys. It always bothers me whenever a distillery says this is our expression. That term, it the word expression. Yeah, this is our expression. What would you call it? I don't know. It's right, but th that that's right up there with mouthfeel. For okay, me. come up with another right. word for this is the whiskey uh, version. Yeah, variation. Yes, thank that you. That best expresses right. what we do. Not as romantic, but I think it's one of those things nah. where it gets people all. You're wrong. All I don't know, titillated. A Twitter. Titillated. A Twitter. Titillated is a better word. Twitter pated because that's titted. So. <laughs> Uh, Single-handedly trying to make our YouTube channel have rating issues. I'm telling you what, the sensors, you don't bring it, Chad. Now, here's the thing that I'll... Every yeah, other word you want to bleep out, f*** it. <laughs> we have to, Chad should just start bleeping things that Rex says that aren't crude at all. Yeah. As, was to give the impression that he just can't stop himself. I do this so I do that, though. Okay, so, uh... Smokiness? Well, no, oh, well, here's what's cool. No. This is an you unpeated whiskey. Filthy, filthy. Face. I know. This is an unpeated Isle of whiskey. You lie. I know. You wouldn't think I was right, but it's true. How how are they getting that on the nose though? What are they doing? Unpeated. So we have two lies. Isla single malt. So you're lying and the bottle. And Jim Mc McMahon. <laughs> Jim McEwen was the one who came up with this expression. It was his favorite expression, and it's a favored expression from Brooklyn Distillery drinkers. So, okay, this is how I start my day. <laughs> uh, I'm walking out of the house. I got my bag, my keys. My oh, wallet. today, today, yeah. today, and yeah. I have to go pick up Daniel because his car is getting worked on. Right, so fine. <laughs> I have a place to be at a certain time, which is always yeah. annoying, but whatever. And my wife, as I'm walking out the door, she hands me a smoothie. It doesn't register that I've been handed a smoothie. So I walk out the door, get in my car, put the smoothie on top while I put all my bags and stuff in there. I close the doors, turn on the music, roll down all the windows, start driving, and in about 20 yards... Conk! Yeah. So if there's <laughs> smoothie on top of your car, not a big deal, because you just wash off your car. If there's smoothie on top of your car and your windows are, are down... It's a problem. You're a little bit f***ed. It goes into the door frame and the wind down the seat. The wind <laughs> blows it everywhere inside your car. And it's a Texas heat. Right. So then you have to roll your windows up when you park it. Right. Which means you're marinating your car in smoothie. So I blame Daniel for this. <laughs> to make to make me hurry. Uh, and because you can't blame Brandy, because he still has to go home <laughs> and, and, and hang out with her. And he gets in my car, and what does he do? What do you do? You're sitting in my I give car. You for the, your disgusting, disgraceful mess of a car. Welcome to my life. The gracious, <laughs> generous human being, an act of kindness, <laughs> expecting nothing in return. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Now, and note to self, if Rex ever offers you a ride, make sure you stop at Home Depot the day before and get a hazmat suit. <laughs> <laughs> you get full Breaking Bad style, you're gonna need it. <laughs> no, it builds, it, builds up All right. the, it builds up the immune system. I'm helping people. This is an amazing freaking whiskey. I could drink this all day, uh, and you asked yesterday which one of your favorites. Brook Lottie Distillery is one of my favorites. Um, it's called the Lottie. Um, because uh, the locals shortened the distillery name from Brook Lottie to the Lottie. Okay. And um, hence the name, right? 
So uh, this, this is making me really self-conscious. Unsmoky. I'll tell you. I'll tell you because a lot of these notes that I would pick out as being like peat peat. notes, and you're telling it's on peat. Like, what the hell have I been thinking was was peat? This, this is how you learn. This is how you learn these things, right? Give me now. I can't show. Oh, I'll show. Oh, give me something. Oh, where's the glass? Give me something peaty. Uh, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what's super cool about this distillery. They have three expression lines. <laughs> the unpeated is the Brooklady series. Mm -hmm. Brooklady series. The peated series is called Port Charlotte. Port Charlotte, uh, heavy peat, and so on. And the super peated expression is Octomore. Now I happen to have Octomore, which is like four or five hundred dollars a bottle, depending on which one you have. Right. Um, how much longer, we may or may not drink that. How much longer do I need to let you talk before you bring me this peated whiskey? Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing right here. I know. Look, I left the glass behind. Look what's happening when you, as you're watching it. I left the glass behind. You know what? I did that as a gift. No, you didn't. Because he picked me up <laughs> at the card uh, repair shop. Okay. This is Port Charlotte heavily peated. This is what the same distillery makes when they peat their whiskey. Mmm. So good. Now, Port Charlotte malts a lot of the um, barley on Isla for other distilleries. Yeah, here's the thing. <sighs> I, would, I would taste this. It's like, oh yeah, it's super peaty. But this, I'm still getting notes of peat. There's no phenol and oil notes in there like there is in the other one. There's rich complexity, but there's not the carbon-based oils. Hmm. They snuck Pete in there. Calling it. <laughs> Calling it. Liars! Calling it. In my expert opinion. Either of these are freaking awesome. Yeah, no, they're great. I, I mean... So, I don't think we've ex described these. <laughs> Hardly at all. No, here's the thing. They're hard to describe because they're Isla. And so the dominant flavor is aggression mm -hmm. and these rich salt water, Petey. Uh, brine, Petey. moss, not me, uh, sort of earth tones, right? Like, like being outdoors on a cold Scottish coastline during a storm. And <laughs> you've been wearing like your, your, your really heavy... Clothing. The rubber rain and slicker is on top and of been, it. But you've been working oh, outside. Oh, so you're sweaty. So the sweat coming through this yeah. is a cold sea salt. And you have that like fisherman deep uh, knotted uh, sweater with the large uh, thread knots, you know. I wasn't going to go soaked all, right through it. I wasn't going to go all fashionista, but yeah, that too. Yeah. Arr. Yeah, it's just a... Now this... It's a man's whiskey. It is. This is the kind of whiskey that I Or think, uh, if you're uh, Kate Van Name. A woman's whiskey. This is the kind of whiskey <laughs> that if somebody was being turned on to whiskey for the first time by a friend who is really oh, into yeah. it. The friend who is really into whiskey, if they I could see this immediately turning off people. Oh yeah, like if they no, never What had, do you think? What do you think? And they're gonna right. be like trying to like it. Right. Oh I mean, it's good I guess. Right. So people they don't want to be rude. So people that say yeah. I hate whiskey. They've probably been given something like this by a friend. Yeah, Well-meaning. When they should have been given the Jameson caskmate yes. <laughs> to start. Mm. And then people are like, oh, this is actually really smooth. Yeah. yeah, yeah Whereas yeah. this, no, no. This you, one's not being your friend. You gotta work your way to get up here. All right, give me one good comment. Comment, man. Your shoes are nice. Oh, thanks. That make me taller. No, I, he said that. I, it wasn't. Ah, I, so now that here's why that creeps me out. How do you know? <laughs> this this camera angle has never shown my shoes. That you know of. So I'm interested now to know <laughs> how you would know what shoes I'm wearing. Uh, Trinity Zaku. I ah, Trinity. I definitely agree to the lightness of the Toki, and with the side by side comparison of the Harmony, mm. I will need to track some down. Right now, it just doesn't exist in Virginia for whatever reason. Also, <laughs> Rex should go Grandmaster Plebeian Mooch and get a couple of custom shirts. With a medallion, <laughs> medallion superimposed on them, and maybe on the back, like uh, you have staff jackets. Oh yeah, and it just says Mooch. So you, you, what you're saying is we need to buy him a members-only jacket right. <laughs> with a medallion on it. Sounds like and it's got to have the elastic arm wrists, you know, <laughs> elastic waist. Sounds like this is an idea for merch. Yeah, it's got to be a sound like when you walk, it goes. Whoosh, whoosh, 
whoosh, whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> like parachute pants. All right, Lime Juice had an idea <laughs> as well for the Mooch necklace. All right. Uh, a load of mini scotch bottles, like those on uh, airline flights. Uh, you've uh, the mooch all these on these bottles, and they're on the string. Bonus point if the string is made out of ripped tube socks. Yeah, well, yes, played. yeah, total tube, like prison style. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Loving these non-traditional whiskey reviews. Non-traditional country whiskey. What is that? Oh, non-traditional country. Whiskey yeah, okay. like you boys are country. Right. He, doesn't, he doesn't mean that. From other yeah countries. Lime I love you boys. Use country. Could you try an Indian whiskey <laughs> next? India seems to be the largest consumer of whiskey. Yeah, through sheer numbers, maybe. In the world. In the world. We'll do an Indian whiskey. Maybe Amrit because uh, it's easier to get that one kind of generally than some of the other Indian whiskeys I have over here. Um, but the guy who really helped launch whiskey in. Uh, India was a Scottish guy, more recently anyway. I mean, re remember that because the Brits really liked to launch world empires by planting flags on countries that already had people in them, there's a massive historical introduction of whiskey into India during the British colonialism era. So this is really bothering me. Does this have smoke though? No. Can I say it has smoke? No. It doesn't have smoke. No. What is the smoke that I'm tasting? Brine, salt water, plants, mineral limestone water, oils, things. That's the scientific. Surrounded by liars. Yeah, you're surrounded by. You poor thing. Let's drink you to your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Angels will sing you to your rest, as Jeremy Griggs says. All right. Till tomorrow, may your crazy stay this side illegal. May you return if you're not a filthy liar. <laughs> Pete in this stuff. <laughs> Cheers.